Hey guys, I'm going to tell you use of countif function in tabulation today. So what I'm going to do is I'm going I have this particular data in previous two videos of mine. I used pivot table tool, but I'm going to use countif tool today to make uh, the table uh, tabulation out of this particular data. So this is the data set right now. I have gender and education against it. So first thing I need to go is to data ripper and there is a group called sort and filter in which I'm going to click on advance and uh, yes my data set is taking right range right here but let, let's check out this particular dialog box which appears one thing is filter the list in place so if this option i leave it highlighted then it's going to uh, update this particular original list of mine which i don't want i want to paste my unique list of items somewhere else so i'm going to click on copy to another location and uh, now i'm going to give it a list range so gender okay i select all though it was taking my list by default and excel is an intelligent software if you keep on working on it it starts understanding what exactly you're trying to do i'll be uh, using this particular option later on in another videos but right now i'll be talking about copy too since i'm copying it to another location so i just to give it a uh, address where i want to dump my unique list of items which i'm going to create don't forget to check in unique records only and click ok so immediately you get a list unique list of items now in this particular uh, cell i'm going to count in frequency right so i just want to give it same color same font which is right there one cell to my left so the table looks good so i can click on my source cell or i can go to home or my painter this little brush appears and I just clicks on this particular cell and it takes the same format which exactly is there. So I'm going to uh, just, uh, you know, give, uh, let me give borders to all these three cells. Then I'm going to type in total here because I want to count the total frequency and I'm going to again centralize this whole stuff. That sounds fine. I'm going to use my countif function tools. So I'm going to start the formula with equal to sign countif. And the moment I say countif, it asks me for two things. One is range. What is the range in which I want to count something? And other is the criteria. That means which criteria in this range I want to count. So first thing is first, I'm going to give it a range. So I'm going to select the first cell, gender, control shift, down arrow. It immediately picks up the whole range. A1 to A101. So I can do my editing here in the formula bar or here in the cell itself, wherever I want. I always uh, prefer to do it in formula bar because it is safer here. And then right now I'm going to give it a criteria separated by a comma. My criteria is in this range. I want to count how many males are there. So just that's perfectly fine. I'm going to close parentheses and hit enter. And it immediately counts male. So what I can do is I just want to count females here so I can drag this formula down. In this case, this formula is going to work absolutely fine. But the moment I'm going to drag it down, the range will change from A2 to A102. Why? Because dragged, when I drag it down, Excel understands that I am shift, I'm shifting the whole concept or whole formula one particular row down. If I'm dragging on right, then the whole formula cells are going to shift one column to one advanced column to the next column in fact like what i should say so what i can do is i can lock this particular range right here by selecting the whole range and by pressing f4 key it immediately locks the whole range that means it is going a dollar sign means it is like dollar in front of a says it is locking column a dollar in front of one is saying it is locking row one similarly so it is locking the whole range I can leave D3 open right now because the moment I'm going to shift the formula down, it is going to, the formula is going to, uh, D3 is going to get changed to D4. So that's what I want. So I can leave it open for now. We'll be discussing later on what is the utility of locking a column or a row separately. So I just hit my return key and uh, I bring this cell handle and I bring it down. And it immediately counts me how many females are there. I can cross check the formula. The moment I click in the cell, the formula is here in formula bar. I can use my F2 key to highlight the formula in the cell. It is counting correct A1 to A1, A101. Blue is highlighted and red is the criteria. So 
Now to find how many totals are there, I can select one cell extra always and press my keyboard shortcut Alt equals and it gives me the sum. So let me centralize it. Okay, now, now perfectly fine. This table is highly dynamic in nature. That means if I change this male to female, look what should happen in table. Female should increase by 1 and male should decrease by 1 while total should remain unchanged. The moment I press enter, oops, it changes. It's not the case in pivot table. Every time the data changes, you have to refresh the pivot tables. See you next video.